What's up? This is Squad 24 for today. We're following Sunday to 17 reality. Today we'll be reviewing a few pickup trucks, flatbed, and an old car here on the mowing map. We'll be hopping in the Chevy 3500 HD Duramax and we'll be making our way over to the repo shop. Today we'll be using the Ford Rollback, the Ram Rucker, and the Western Star Heavy Rucker to repo all of the vehicles and bring them back over to the shop. And we are on the most updated version of the map, mowing map version, to which was released on Friday. And if you haven't downloaded it, I do recommend you check it out. So we're arriving here at the repo shop. We'll be going after the most expensive vehicle of the day first, which will be the uh, Scania Flap at Very Large, and it's over at one of the local shops. So we are uh, hopping in the Western Star Wrecker. It's our largest tow truck, and it's pretty cool because it's blacked out, and it goes along with the repo theme of blacked out trucks, everything like that. So we'll kind of pull forward here, and we'll be closing the garage door as we head out. So we do have the automatic garage door opener, which is pretty helpful for us. So we'll be pulling out here, and I would like to thank each and every one of you for the continued support on the repo series. We did do a few plain repos last week, which was also pretty cool. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys would like me to do some of those. So we are making it our way over to the shop. It's a Scania flatbed, very large. It does have ramps on the back, and I believe that we'll just have to kind of get it from the back since it's pretty heavy up front, and that's probably the only place that we could get the boom as you guys can see, we are going over the overpass. Now, this might give us a few challenges, kind of making our way back since we are towing and uh, the vehicle could kind of scrape on the ground with the vehicles. So, we'll definitely have to watch that as we kind of head back over here. And I might look into making a road that kind of goes along the edge of the map that's a little flatter, easier for us to kind of go over. So, let me know down below in the comments, should we do that in for version 3 of the map? I will be making it uh, seasons ready, which should be pretty cool. And will be coming out within the next few weeks. This vehicle is at the uh, construction shop, so we'll pretty much drive right by, and if it is, it will be turning around at the mega gas station, and take a look at that. That is actually the Scania truck, so we're just kind of pulling out. It was a little quick notice, kind of just pulling in here very fast, but we got to get this, and I do not want anybody to kind of drive off with it. This is a very expensive truck, so before we can attach to it, we will have to check to make sure it's the correct vehicle. We'll have to hop out, and uh, kind of driving by would have been nice, but if there was somebody outside they could easily have kind of got spooked if you would say and started to kind of run so let's take a look at that guys looks like it is our correct VIN and you what I did notice is the garage doors that are pretty large on this map do cause a few problems I will have to work that out for the next version of the map but we got it attached guys so we'll kind of pull around here and we'll be making our way back over to the shop and to kind of speed up today's video we'll be kind of keeping all of them attached to the tow trucks since that does take a lot of time to do but take a look at that we got the first one of the day which is a pretty cool truck it's a six figure truck very very expensive so we want to go after most expensive ones since we do get a higher paycheck for each vehicle our repo man is someone who takes the vehicles back for the bank and sometimes the bank does get one key to the vehicle which we actually do have two of you today and the old car is actually a little interesting he did restore it but he had to take out a loan to do that so uh, he didn't pay off that loan so they will be taking that back but overall this western star wrecker is one very nice one we do have a western star twin steer rotator and a usual just rotator which we do use in the heavy rescue series and we will be doing a video very soon with those so now we are kind of going over here, you guys can see I will have to work on this. It's a little too steep and does give a lot of challenges with different types of loads and trailers. So we'll definitely have to work this area out. Maybe like I was saying, kind of find a pretty cool cut through area or even a bridge with uh, less steep of a road. But as we are making our hour way back, you guys can see that this truck looks good uh, towing pretty large trucks. And I think that we will most likely be combining the Heavy Rescue, the Tow Shop, and the Repo Shop all into one. I think that that's going to be one of the best decisions since we'll have a lot of different tow trucks and we will be doing some of these in multiplayer. 
As you guys can see, this skinny of Flappet I did feature in a few mod reviews, so I do recommend you go check that out. And while you guys are down below in the description, you guys can go over and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Square2448. I do post pretty cool pictures and give live updates on streams, and this will be a little bit of an interesting area. So it looks like we'll pretty much have to back in just because we're in a pretty tight area, and having this exit here on the kind of corner isn't really that helpful but we'll be adding in another entrance very very soon we'll be backing up and I, like I was saying we'll just kind of be, uh, be parking these up and we'll be coming back at a later time to unload them so this looks pretty good for the first repo of the day we'll have to kind of turn all of our lights off and the next repo will be a Ram 1500 crew cab blue we'll be using the Ram 5500 wrecker which we don't use too many times but we'll be using that so we'll kind of come over here you guys can see this vehicle looks awesome so we'll kind of open up the garage door and we might take out that international a little bit later on I do like to change up the tow trucks throughout the videos but as you guys can see this is one very cool truck it's pretty cool and we will be working on a public truck a repo truck that we will be kind of releasing and I do apologize for not starting that as soon as I thought I'm doing a lot of pretty cool videos and different games featuring on the channel and once uh, we kind of do a little bit more we'll kind of come back and do some building trucks that we will be releasing. If you do have any cool trucks you guys would like me to build, let me know down below in the comments. I want to bring that series back and really do some pretty cool builds for all of you guys to use. But take a look at this. Having this Ram as a single cap and a record is very efficient and it's pretty compact. So we will pretty much be coming up here on the house. So we'll be turning our uh, LED light bar on and our tow bar. Kind of lower it down. Get us ready because the house is right over here. So let's take a look at that. It should be just over here. Take a look at that. Right over there. Hiding behind the building to the side. So you can't really see it as you drive by unless you kind of look. But here it is, guys. The Ram. It is a matching license plate. ETB8132. We'll kind of come over here. Check for the VIN. I did feature this one in a mod review. And I really do recommend you guys check out the weekly mod reviews. I do do a lot of reviews when more and more mods come out. Which is pretty cool. We're we'll backing in. We do actually have to raise this up just a little bit. A little bit higher than normal. Just so we do not bottom out as we tow this back over to the shop. Repo number two is very successful. I do like this quick and easy backup. Take the vehicle and go. It's pretty cool. And I think it will be also pretty realistic to get like a LED light bar that goes on the back of the truck since you do need one when towing. But this Ram, you guys can see, does a great job pulling a little wheelie. Like I was saying, you do run into a few problems going over the on-ramps. And I will definitely have to look into this to kind of work it out. And I would like to thank you all for the continued support on the daily content. I really do appreciate each and every one of you with all of the positive feedback, everything like that. You guys mean a lot to me and I do appreciate it. And we'll be doing many more daily farming sim videos. And also, the second videos of the day, we are changing up, doing a little bit more of different games, trying to feature them on the channel. And if you do have any games, let me know down below in the comments. I think also, which would be pretty realistic, would be to get the uh, wheels turning on the truck. That would be pretty cool to do. And I mean, that would also be uh, very nice because it would look a lot nicer when towing. But as you guys can see, this Ram uh, record did a great job. It's another one added to the tow sheet and repo sheet of the truck. And I really do like using trucks that really do kind of uh, pay off and really do a good job. So that's pretty much it for this. We'll have to turn our LED light bar off. We'll be kind of opening up this garage door. Now we should kind of get the side door open. But sometimes I am running into problems with that. So we'll have to look into that. But next up we'll be taking the uh, Ford F350 rollback. Very nice truck. We'll be going to getting a uh, old car. It's in town. The owner is out of state and they uh, kind of came in and we got a tip. So we'll be going after it trying to get it before they leave town. As you guys can see, this is one very cool truck. We actually did feature this in a building video. If you guys haven't checked that out, I do recommend you do because this rollback is one of a kind. So we are going over to the motel here on the old side of the town. And as you guys can see, I did remove the border trees. I really do like it without them here. The map looks a lot more realistic and it does not look uh, bad at all. And it actually opens up the map 
which is also a pretty cool thing to do. So next up, we are actually going to be kind of parking up right outside of this workshop area. Actually, we'll kind of park up right over here. We do have permission to kind of block it off just for a minute, and we'll kind of peek over, make sure it's the correct one, and... Take a look at that, guys. There it is, the old car. That is awesome. We'll kind of make a run for the side. We'll have to double check, and we will be doing a few repos within the next few videos where uh, we go to different places, and there will probably be very similar trucks, which should also be a challenge. But take a look at this. Looks like it's an old Chevy, and it's the correct VIN. Awesome. So we'll kind of uh, make a pretty quick run for it back over to our truck, and usually I like to have kind of two people, one spotting in a regular truck, and then us in the repo truck so I think we'll be bringing that back for maybe a video something cool like that but I, what I want to do now is pretty much lower the tow bar down as close as we can before it scrapes the ground just so it's a little bit easier quicker to load it on and like I was saying earlier we do have the keys because the bank does not want us to drag this and damage the uh, transmission or anything like that since it is pretty expensive so next up looks like I actually did raise up the tow bar just a little we'll kind of slide this back and continue Awesome, as you guys can see, we got this Chevy, we'll kind of back this on, and this fits on this truck really, really well. It is a little large, but it does a great job. That looks to be good right about there. So next up, we'll be hopping back in this truck. This is probably one of my favorite Ford cabs in the game. It is just very realistic. So next up, we'll have to kind of slide this forward. I would definitely lock the load. As you guys can see, we got the Chevy on the back of the rollbacks. So we'll be heading out, and we will actually be using one of the other rollbacks to go after the GMC 3500 HD. As you guys can see, this Ford isn't as wide rollback-wise, and I think a much wider truck will be very helpful in the repo process of a dually. So we'll kind of be getting one of those. I think it, like I was saying, will make our work a lot easier. And if you do have any cool repo ideas, let me know down below in the comments. We will be switching over to winter repos very soon which should be very interesting we might have to plow out the vehicle we will be repoing something cool like that i will have a few surprises once we kind of come around to that but i mean the tow shop is pretty much in a very nice area and i think that we might kind of look into maybe adding a second location so let me know if you guys would like me to do that we just arrived here and looks like all of the tow trucks in this area are pretty much going to be be blocked in so we might have to go get the one in the front which is the international and that would be a pretty cool truck so just take one last look and I think we'll probably take the uh let's take the international it's just a little bit easier and it's kind of in the direction we need it to be not driving out our yard which is pretty packed with vehicles we'll be hopping in this this is actually a Durstall tow truck it's a rollback very very cool truck and I do like featuring towbacks on the channel they're very cool uh, vehicles everything like that so we'll be making our way over there and as you guys can see it does have a pretty cool first person view camera wise but it does need a little bit of detail on the inside view so this is a pretty new GMC Dually, it's a Duramax, very very large truck and this is just a little bit wider and having it as wide as we can will be definitely very helpful for us. So we'll be going to kind of the new part of the neighborhood, it's a roundabout street and uh, we'll definitely be seen but as you guys can see we do have the blacked out look which is also a very cool thing I do like to have for the repo shop. And I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. I really do strive for very high quality content and awesome gameplay. So if you guys would like to see more, drop a like. And also, you guys can follow me on all of my other social medias. Twitter and Instagram at Square2448. And if you do have any cool video ideas, let me know down below in the comments. And since this is a very long street, we'll just kind of come down. And if it is a correct one, we'll be getting it right away. And we'll kind of go around the opposite way just because we do not want them to kind of turn but take a look at that guys here it is the GMC 3500 HD uh, Duramax I actually did feature this in the video hauling the Toyota trucks you guys really did like that one and I thought we'll be using this again so we'll just kind of check the VIN and we'll kind of hop up here on the wheel standing on it and it is a crack VIN very very large truck we should be able to fit it on if not we'll have to come back with maybe the F650 or even one of the larger ones so we're going to back up here and we'll be trying to load it on 
Awesome, so we kind of got this right over here. That looks to be good rollback-wise. We'll be hopping in this. We do have the keys because a lot of these expensive vehicles, the bank does take one of the keys to make it a little bit easier. So as you guys can see, it looks like this is pretty much not going to kind of fit on the truck exactly. So we'll pretty much uh, kind of call it a day right over here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's rebuilding video here on the mauling map. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.